All right. When you go to the link for our virtual tour, the first scene you're going to see is this one here. And this is the student entrance at the tech center. So when you get dropped off on a bus or um, if you go there for any type of visit, this is where you're going to enter the building. And in the screen, you're going to see this little welcome message. And it just has some basics on how to navigate through this tour. And I'm going to just go through that for you. So I'm going to close that window. The easiest way and how we're going to navigate the tour today is using this menu in the upper right hand corner. The top option, if you click to expand that menu, will take you to some important web links on our website. The most important to you guys right now is probably our class web pages. So if we click on that, it will take you to our classes page on the CTC website. And that page contains links to all 16 Career Tech Center programs. In those class pages, let's click on Allied Health, for example include more information on each CTC class. So there's additional photos, there's a description of the program, and what I really want to point out is the college credit information. We're not going to get into a lot of detail about college credit for each program at the CTC because it's different for every class. So um, if you're interested in learning more about college credit available for each program, just go to that program's web page. We also have links to the virtual tour on each class web page so you can see inside those classrooms and instructor information. So going back to our tour, another way to navigate is just by clicking your mouse or if you're on a phone, tapping the screen, um, click and drag or tap and drag to see panoramic view. So it really is like you're inside the building. If we go back to our navigation menu, you'll see that our classes are organized by career pathway. So if you've done Zello or career cruising in the past, then you're probably familiar with pathways. And our first pathway is arts and communication, and that's gonna take us to graphic production. So here we see our graphic production classroom. You can see our workspaces as well as the Macintosh computer lab that you'll be working in as a graphic production student. And you'll also notice these dots. Now every class is going to have these dots in it. These are hotspots. And the red hotspots take you to a brochure for that class. And we'll click on all of these and just move through them quickly. All of the brochures are going to have additional photos of students who are in that class, a quote from a student that took that class. And then in the information on the bottom half, you're going to see on the far left, things that you can expect to do or to learn in that class. So for example, graphic production students are going to create original artwork for production in our lab. In the center column, it talks about careers related to that program. So students who take graphic production are preparing for careers as a graphic designer, a marketing coordinator, and so on. And lastly, in the far right column, you'll see what type of academic credit is available in that class, as well as college credit opportunities. So that's graphic production. We're going to continue on through our tour here and we're going to head over to the graphic production lab. And that's where our green hotspot is and we'll get to that in just a moment. But here you can see our lab where students will produce the artwork that they've created on their computer. So we've got a large format printer, a laser etching machine, a color copier. And in the back here is a screen printing machine. And the green hotspots contain a video link. So let's click on that. And we're going to be taken to our YouTube page where you're going to see a demonstration of how our screen printing machine works. So this student has just inked a design onto an apron and he's going to take it over to what kind of looks like a little pizza oven over here. And this heater sets the ink so that it's safe to touch and you can wash that apron and begin wearing it. Going back to our tour here, we're gonna to head to the business management marketing and technology pathway, which starts off with hospitality and food management. So here you can see our food theory lab or essentially your classroom as a hospitality and food management student. Clicking on that brochure link, we'll see some additional photos of our students in action from this program. 
And if we look over here at what you're going to get to do, it's not just cooking. You're going to learn about management. You're going to learn about running your own business. Related careers include things like event planners as well as executive chefs. So it's not all just a cooking class like some people might be inclined to believe. Though you certainly get to do a lot of cooking. And for that, you're going to need to see our kitchen. So here is our industrial kitchen that is used by our students. If any of you have jobs in the food service industry already, this probably looks familiar. <clears throat> Clicking on our video link, we're going to see some students actually at work in this space. So this student here is practicing some safe knife skills here, dicing up herbs. We've got a student back here hollowing out a squash for a recipe. Um, and that's one thing our students really focus on locally grown foods, so things that we can grow here in Michigan. Next up in the business management pathway is internet network and security technologies. So this is the class for all of my aspiring security specialists, game site developers, uh, coders, app designers. This is where you're going to want to be. Clicking on the brochure. You can see males and females in this class. All of our classes have uh, males and female students, but sometimes we see that more Males are inclined to take this program, but we definitely want to encourage ladies who have an interest in the computer sciences to check this out. Also, I want to point out the number of certifications you can earn in, your, in this class. So that far left column at the bottom, you can see a number of certifications that our students can earn through this program. And these are invaluable when you head off to pursue a career in computer sciences, as well as when you head to college. It's going to give you a, an extra step uh, ahead in your career. Clicking on our video link, we're going to learn that not everything is done on the computer. So we can see some students here working as a team to actually build a computer. So these gentlemen are working on building a gaming computer. So this computer is going to have better graphics, better processing speeds than your typical computer that you use to do homework or send emails. So you're going to learn about what goes inside those machines as well as learning how to make Ethernet cables and wired and wireless computer networks. So not everything is just sitting on a computer. Leaving the business pathway, we're going to head to Emmet, so Engineering, Manufacturing, and Technology. And that's going to take us to the opposite end of the building where we see our auto collision lab. So here is where you're going to be working on refinishing the exterior, mainly, of vehicles. Clicking on our brochure. We can see that again in this class, we have both male and female students. So females are just as interested as working on and having great looking vehicles as guys. So we encourage ladies, if this is something that interests you, to explore it with us. These students here are posing with some projects of theirs. So as part of this program, they compete in different student run events and can earn prizes such as ribbons and trophies and even scholarships. In the back of the lab, you'll notice these two large booths. These are paint booths. So if we look at our video link here, we're actually gonna see a student in one of those boot booths. And she's actually painting a spoiler for a vehicle that is being worked on in the class. So that is auto collision. Up on the wall here, we can see some custom paint jobs. We bring in some representatives from some technical schools and they'll come in and do an airbrushing demonstration. So those are some things that our students can aspire to. On the other side of this wall here is auto service technology. So we're going to jump over there. And these are the folks who are learning how to properly maintain and diagnose our vehicles. So clicking on that class brochure, we'll see again that we have ladies and gentlemen in this program. So ladies, if you're interested in a career working with vehicles and in the automotive industry, we definitely encourage you to explore that with us. Going back to the view of our lab, we can click on our video link and we'll actually see our lab in action. And we're going to start off with a view here. Um, this is our instructor, Mr. Lystra with some students working on an engine project. In the back is our wheel balancer. Over here, we have a car that might be getting an oil change or maybe its tires rotated, but lots of activity going on in our lab. Every day, our students are given a different project that they'll work on 
as a team. Back down to the other end of the building is computer-aided design. So if you are interested in becoming an architect, an engineer, even an interior designer, this is where you're gonna get your start with us. Clicking on our brochure, we'll see. Again, students from the program, examples of related careers. And these students, again, up here um, participated in a competition. And you can see ribbons and such on their projects. So again, you have the opportunity to earn scholarships and prizes for your work. And they get to choose the area that they wanna study. So once you've kind of learned the basics in here, you can do a deep dive into the area of design that truly interests you. Over here to the side, you can see these little white boxes. These are 3D printers. And if we click on our video link, you can see those printers in action. And this is excellent for students who are designing parts in the mechanical engineering component of the class. And you can see how you can build an actual prototype of that part that you've designed on your own computer. The next class we're going to look at is related to computer-aided design, at least the architectural component. We're gonna head off campus about a mile and a half away to our construction trade site. So the first spot we're gonna look at is our 2016 student-built home. And this actually serves as our classroom and office space right now. So opening up this menu, clicking on the classroom, you can see where you're gonna start your day as a construction trade student. So technically you're in the dining room, living room of a home. When we look at our brochure, again, we see males and females, even in the construction trades. In fact, one of our instructors for this program is a female. And while you're in this program, you're gonna study all aspects of home construction and residential building. So a lot of times students find that they're interested in a specific area. So maybe you really enjoy the HVAC component of building a home or the electrical component. Those are areas that you could study beyond the CTC. Clicking on our video link, we're actually going to see this building site before the house was built. So it's a time-lapse video here and we see the trees being taken down, the hole being dug. And sorry folks, um, that is the part that's hired out. We don't have students operating heavy machinery, but you will do everything else as far as construction of our house from laying the foundation to putting up the walls and the floors, the shingles, windows, countertops, cabinets, everything right up until June when we host our open house. Then following our open house, we usually put the home on the market and it's put up for sale. So here's the site of the home that we're building this year. In fact, we actually started this last year, but because of the pandemic, we weren't able to finish it. So students will finish construction of this home this year. And then that's gonna become our new classroom and office space. And the home I just showed you will be put up for sale. All down this street are homes built by our construction trades program. So we've got about 13 homes in that neighborhood right now that our students built. Heading back to the main campus, we're gonna visit electrical and computer technologies. And these students also have a hand in working at our construction trades home. You can look around the classroom here and see several of the different training modules that they use. But when we look at the brochure, we'll see that there are four different areas that you study in this program. And one of those is residential wiring. And that's what will bring our students out to the construction trades home. So you'll get to go out there and assist with wiring the home for electrical, for surround sound system, security, and so on. But you're also gonna study PC maintenance and repair, robotics and automation, and alternative energies like solar and wind. So great opportunities in there and four different certifications you can earn. Back here, we can see a video of our robotics and automation lab in action. So here we see, a, well, in a moment, a second year student who has written programming for our robotic arm to perform a task. So that's electrical and computer technologies. If we were to walk out this door back here, it would take us to our machining and engineering technology class. So in this class, you're gonna learn how to read blueprints and operate machines like lathes and mills and CNC machines to create parts. And here we'll take a look at the brochure. Again, males and females in machining as well. It's an excellent place to get a start on an engineering career and to get a start on a career in general. 
as a senior returning to this program, many times we're able to place you on the job because you've already received the training that local employers are looking for your junior year. So senior year, we can place you on a paid internship and you can actually go out and work when you would normally be in class. We click on our video link here. We can see a student who is using a mill to work on a project for class. And the work that's done in here is very precise. A lot of people think that, you know, these are just simple jobs and they're done in dirty places, but our lab is pristine and so are the workspaces of the employers that we work with. And many times those employers will also help pay for college. So it's an excellent program to get a start on your career in college. Now, if we were to flip around on the other side of this wall here is welding technology. So similar to machining and engineering technology, we have excellent job placement out of this program. So juniors who take welding and return as seniors, many times can be placed on paid internships their senior year. Looking at the brochure, males and females in welding. So ladies, don't hesitate. If this sounds like something that's interesting to you, there are excellent careers and we wanna see you in our welding lab as well as all the fellas. We can see a peek inside one of our welding booths here if we click on our video link. So here we can see a student practicing a weld here in our lab. So that is welding and that wraps up the Emmett pathway. The next one we're gonna check out is health sciences. So anybody in the group who is aspiring to be a doctor or a nurse or even an x-ray tech or a pediatrician, you're gonna start in allied health. If you look at the menu, you'll see there's allied health one, two, and three. And those are just different sections. It's not a different level or a more advanced version. Um, it's just kind of like at your high school, we probably have several math teachers or several English teachers, and we have several allied health classes because it's just a very popular program. If we click on the hotspots here, you'll see the brochure. And like I've been saying, it's not like a, a repeating machine here, males and females in our allied health too. So definitely, if you're interested in the healthcare career, get your start here in Allied Health. And I'm going to go back to the Allied Health One classroom because this also serves as a secondary classroom, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So in Allied Health, one of the things you're going to learn, in addition to medical terminology and parts of the body, is patient care. And here's a demonstration of a patient care technique you might learn as an Allied Health student, which is transferring a patient using a gate belt. So they put that belt around the patient to help give them support when you move the patient from a bed to a chair or vice versa. So something you might use if you're working in a nursing home or an assisted living. But there's another class that takes place in this room and that's biotech and engineering. And biotech and engineering is one of only two programs at the CTC that does have a prerequisite. So to take this class, you must have completed allied health, internet security or machining and engineering your junior year. And the reason for that is that this program merges medical technology with science and technology. And you'll see that in our video here. So in this video is a team of biotech and engineering students who are working on a prototype for a knee brace. So every class has a client that they're working with and their client suffers from multiple sclerosis. And one of the problems that she wrestles with is that her knee will give out because this disease has weakened her. So they're working on designing a leg brace to help her. So each team in this class has a different local client that they work on solving a problem for. The next class we're gonna look at is Health Science Academy. And this also has a prerequisite, which is Allied Health. So Health Science Academy, you can see our lab here, it gives students a deeper dive into healthcare careers. Looking at our brochure, you'll see that in this program, you're going to get some advanced patient care skills. So you're gonna to get to use different tools to help 
your patients one day. And you're also going to have the opportunity for a clinical internship. So these students here were studying pharmacy tech, so they got to actually go work at a Walgreens pharmacy as part of their program. Clicking on our video link, we'll see some of the additional patient care skills that you learn as an HSA or Health Science Academy student. And we'll notice something new this year is this advanced personal protection equipment. So now our students are also wearing face shields in addition to their masks when they perform a skill, just as folks in the medical field are doing now. And because our students are working so close together at times in this class, it's important that we practice those safety techniques. So this is just a blood pressure check. So that wraps up the health sciences. Next on our list as we draw nearer to the end here is human services. And that starts off with criminal justice. So students in our criminal justice program will meet in this classroom. On the far side, you can see it looks a little bit different. Uh, and that's where they practice their hands-on demonstrations and physical fitness tests, things like that. And it's not just police work that they're training for. We work closely with emergency services, learning things like CPR and how to use AEDs and pa patient transfers, things like that. Over here, we work closely with the fire department. You can see our students practicing with a fire department here. We also learn about the courts. It's a good course if you're preparing to be a lawyer or if you want to get into like forensic science and that type of work. So here's a demonstration of one of the emergency service skills our students have learned. And if they were to become an EMT or even um, a police officer might do this type of work, um, if you were to arrive at the scene of an accident, you're gonna wanna move anyone there who's been injured to safety. So part of that is knowing how to work as a team to safely transfer someone who may have been injured at an accident. So they're practicing that skill with some guests at one of our open houses. So that is criminal justice. Next, we're gonna hop off campus again for cosmetology. And cosmetology is held at Nouveau College of Cosmetology. And I put extra emphasis on the word college because it does cost money to go to Nouveau. But as long as you're a CTC student, we will pay that. So when you're studying cosmetology, you need to earn 1,500 hours of experience before you can take the state of Michigan exam. So all of those hours that you earn while a CTC student are paid for. If we click on the brochure, we'll see some of the different areas that you're gonna learn about. Um, you're going to study, obviously, hair color and styling, but you'll also get into massage and manicures. You're going to learn about biology and chemistry. So it's a very intense program. It's not just getting to hang out with your friends and do your hair and nails. There's some really deep work that is involved. So we'll take a look at our classroom in action here. And just like all of our classes, males and females in our cosmetology program too. So fellas, if you wanna become a barber or a stylist, this is where you're gonna get your start. And once you've earned enough hours of practice on mannequins and on your classmates, you can advance to the salon floor. So here's the salon where you'll work on actual customers from the community under the guidance of our instructors. And we're going to return to the main campus for the last class we're going to talk about today, and that's in the natural resources and agri-science category. And that would be environmental and veterinary sciences. So here we can see in our environmental veterinary sciences classroom, through these windows, you can get a peek into our greenhouse. But in addition to working in our classroom, our students spend a good deal of their time out working in our barn. So out in our barn, we have rabbits, we have chickens, we even have a few beehives, we have billy goats. So you're going to practice those animal care skills as well as raising your own animals for show. Clicking on our video link here, we can kind of see the barn in action. So in the mornings, you're gonna head out there to make sure the cages are kept tidy and the animals are fed and watered and to get to track any progress on those animals that you're raising for show. You catch a quick glimpse of one of our goats, but they just sneak in. So 
So that wraps up all of the classes at the CTC. So real quick here, I'm going to touch on some of our offices that you may need to use as a CTC student. The first of which is student services. So student services is where you're going to go to sign in, to sign out, if you have any questions about attendance. Um, if you'd like to talk to Mrs. Parker, our job placement specialist, she is also in student services. And our school counselor is down in our student services office. So if you have any counseling needs or need to make adjustments to your schedule, that's where you'll go. Another important office for our students is the Academic Resource Center, as we call it, the ARC. And this is where our curriculum coordinator is housed. And you probably won't need to talk to her, but if we click on her door, you can see our academic credit brochure. So this brochure outlines the academic credit that is recommended for various CTC programs. So for example, allied health students can qualify for an English credit or auto service students can qualify for a fourth year math. If you're interested in receiving academic credit for a CTC program, that's something you need to discuss with your counselor because sometimes those are only available senior year and some schools accept it while others don't. So that's something that's a conversation to have with um, your guidance counselor. We also have our college credit specialist down here in the ARC. So if we click on one of these doors, you'll see the link to articulated credit. Every CTC class offers articulated college credit. And this is a credit waiver granted through an agreement we have with specific schools. Now, it depends on what CTC class you're taking, what schools that we offer articulated credit with. So that's where I advise you to go to our CTC classes page and click on the individual CTC class that you'd like to take to find out specifics. And lastly, we also offer direct credit for about half of our classes. So direct credit is available in these seven classes this year. Hopefully next year when we don't have COVID um, to deal with, we'll be able to expand this list again. But this year it's a, a little bit shorter than usual. But students who qualify for direct credit can dual enroll at Muskegon Community College and they'll receive all of their coursework through their CTC class. So you don't have to go to the college for your class. You'll get that incorporated in your Career Tech Center curriculum. So for example, CAD students who qualify for direct credits can knock out CAD 150. And to take that class outside of the CTC as like a regular MCC student, it would be $486. But as long as you are getting that through the CTC and you're in good standing, we will waive that fee for you. So that's a, a nice little advantage. And lastly is our admin office and hopefully, hopefully no one has to go down there, but this is where our principal, assistant principal and their administrative assistant are housed. 